Hey, it's right here. We're this is the final night of the scholarship. Um, it's all done. It's all over. Um, what an amazing three weeks! Just really, really special. Um, enjoyed it so much. Um, anyway, uh, what can I say? Today we didn't get to do any actual sort of syllabus flying because. Um, the aircraft that I've been flying for three weeks had come to the end of being used for 100 hours and um, needed uh, to be looked over by a mechanic and had its oil change and uh, various checks and various sort of safety procedures performed on it. Um, I'll put some pictures up. Oh, I mentioned it yes in, in yesterday's blog. Um, we also I also didn't get to do any study last night so. I didn't get to finish reading the air law and I didn't get to do uh, the exam today um, and again to do solo I've got to pass air law I can't go in the air unless I've um, qualified at um, at least the basic standard of air law um, you got, you've got to know a few things about what you can and can't do legally before you're actually allowed to go up on your own and so I haven't done that uh, I'm going to try and do that tonight. I've got about 45 pages left to read, which is uh, it's uh, it's not the most thrilling storyline you've ever read in a book. I can tell you that, but you have to know it, and it, um, it's definitely, definitely, <laughs> it's you know you definitely sort of you could put people in danger and then endanger yourself if you don't know the air or so. It's got it's got to be done, and obviously, so I will be doing that. Um, hopefully we'll do that. So we'll do that exam tomorrow. I might get another flight tomorrow. The Yankee Lima is ready. The um, the Cherokee I've been flying is is ready to fly. Um, it's had a new oil change and uh, it's been given a clean bit of health. Earlier today we went up in the Piper Arrow. Um, <laughs> for some reason I can I cannot get any of my technology to work. I'm sorry, I'm just. Having a celebratory lager. I've been off the beer for three weeks, so cheers. I'm having one or two. Um, for some reason, I have had an absolutely nightmare with anything that I've tried to do technology-wise. I've got a computer. I've got two computers that won't do any work. I've got hard drives that sort of wouldn't talk to each other. I've got um, cameras that keep turning themselves off or recording the wrong thing or just doing stupid stuff. I've got camera mounts that won't absorb vibration in the aircraft. I've got camera mounts that fall off whenever you put them on anything. So as soon as you put them on something, they, they fall off. And today, well, I've, I bust out the video camera and we, we, and I've got, I've, got a, I've got a fancy microphone that w w just won't work with anything. It's got this irritating buzzing sound that keeps coming back and nobody, I can't, I can't work out why. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't do it. It's just annoying. Um, change batteries, change leads, you know. Sort of one minute it works, then the next minute it doesn't work. Road microphone, road microphone, never buying one again. Gonna ditch it on eBay as soon as I possibly can. I hate the thing. Um, and uh, I mean, it's on there now, and hopefully it's recording this, but anyway. Um, so we got the camcorder out and recorded some good footage in the arrow no sound why microphone works all day perfectly great from the with the exception of the odd video i shot earlier all day and i'm checking every video i'm doing i'm checking what's the sound like what's the picture like is this working isn't it as soon as we get in the airplane no sound oh excuse my french um, uh, unbelievable! Just ah, uh, just for so frustrating, and uh, I've not been able to. Uh, I'm, I'm lucky to have any footage at all because I've had no luck with any of my technology. Like I said, my computers won't do any work. You know, uh, my cameras won't do any work. The microphone won't do any work. Nothing I bought will do any work. Um, 
and the, the, the more it, the more it's just gone downhill, the worse it's got. So uh, the fact that I've produced any video at all, or, or had anything to say at all, or had anything to show you at all, it's just been a pure miracle. Um, and like I say, it's you know I've spent far too much time worrying, about, well, trying to produce some sort of record of my experience and. Uh, and you know, and at some points I just wished I'd just go with a scholarship. And um, but, not that's not to say that I haven't made progress. Like I say, I'm very very close to being able to do solo. Uh, we're going to do some more training tomorrow, but solo probably won't happen tomorrow. Uh, other scholars have achieved solo, and, and congratulations to him, and I'm happy for him. Uh, I wanted to, but that's fine. It's um, but I've got some hours left. About three or four hours left. Plus, I, I'm, I'm intending to carry on with my flight training, so I'm going to be buying some. Air, I'm going to be buying some tuition. Uh, I'm going to be passing some more of my exams, um, and, and I'm going to be continuing with aviation because it's just awesome. It's fantastic. It's uh, the new, uh, one of the new love of my life. I really do love it. It's tested me to the limit. It's pushed me, um, and I just love it up there. And I can't imagine that. Having at some point in a week up at 3,000 feet or some point in a month up in the air at 3,000 feet with the freedom that gives you. I mean, I mean, the first thing, the first advantage of being up at, at 3,000 feet in the air, and I'm sure this will appear, 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 appear to a lot of people, it means you're at least a fair distance away from the nearest idiot <laughs> and, and <coughs> it's good to get away from idiots occasionally um, you know so and there's plenty of idiots out there I think we all can all agree on that so to be up in the air and a couple of thousand feet away from the nearest idiot is pretty refreshing <laughs> that's escapism that is the definition of escapism all, all in itself so um, and I'm sorry if that's not very politically correct, but sometimes <laughs> deleting idiots is <laughs> deleting idiots is a good thing. <laughs> it's definitely something to be uh, not to be sniffed at. To uh, have a lack of idiots in your vicinity for a, for at least an hour a day. <laughs> so um, anyway, <laughs> um, it, excuse me, but anyway. <laughs> So yeah, so so if if nothing else, it's worth it's worth two hundred pound an hour just to get away from the nearest freak. Uh, so um, that's you know one one good selling point of aviation. You know you, you you you're not surrounded by freaks all the time. You can get away from the freaks for a bit. So <laughs> uh, maybe I'm the freak that needs to get away from the normal people. I don't know, but <laughs> anyway. The, the scholarship has been amazing it's been really really good and uh, I would recommend to anybody if you're bored <laughs> if you've got no reason to live <laughs> if you're uh, struggling and you uh, you need something to do that's going to challenge you then uh, take up flying try some flying because uh, you'll soon find yourself with your hands full and something to do and something to concentrate on and something to, and something to get out of bed for you know, there's definitely something to be said for that a reason to get out of bed what are we going to go flying today it's a good reason it's, it works it works for me anyway and uh, and that's no bad thing okay thank you to flying scholarships for disabled for presenting me with the opportunity uh, and particularly Judy Ball who's always been supportive Guy, Tim, Nigel uh, Steve Robinson, Paul Stairs my mentors um, Claire White who's uh, been a shoulder to cry on for uh, time to time um, and all the other guys uh, the Air Cadets the Scottish Air Cadets I don't know I, forgot, I always forget this question I'm sorry guys 
Uh, but you're, you're, you've been great, especially at Cranwell. Um, John Griffin at Griffin Aero and Brod and Jan. Griffin Aero has been an amazing experience for me. I really have enjoyed being there and uh, learning that style of flying. And um, it may have been unorthodox at times and what have you, but it's definitely suited me and my, the way I learn and the way I like to progress with the things and the, the way I like to make progress. And although I didn't get to um, to solo, I am after all only at ten and a half hours, so I'm, I've, I'm only twenty minutes. Well, except in the flight in the error, I'm about I'm only twenty minutes over the threshold to solo. Um, which is the minimum you have to do at least 10 hours so I'm only there so to be almost ready to solo and be at that point is pretty decent going especially if we're a guy that's sort of of limited mobility such as myself so yeah to anybody out there who's feeling a bit down and out and a bit sort of sad for, sorry for themselves and you've got a re and you can, you've got a reasonable ability to study and learn new things and pick up some new skills Learn to fly. Thoroughly recommend it. All right. I'm tired. I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely exhausted. So it's been the end of the three weeks, and uh, so I'm rambling a little bit. Excuse that, but uh, yeah. What an experience, and what a thrill. And it's going to be hard next week and in the coming weeks to go back to normality and not being able to grab the keys of an aeroplane and, and and take it up a runway and sort of take it up to a couple of thousand feet and throw it around the sky it's going to be hard not to have that um, have that to look forward to on a daily basis um, you know life is definitely going to be lesser without that but that's not to say that I won't do more of it I definitely will be doing more of it okay I think I've said enough um, solar is not going to happen the Edward exam might happen. We'll see. Uh, I've still got to chunk through the book. I've got to pack all my stuff, get myself organised to be out of the uh, out of here. I've been staying at Premier in Sirencester, as you can see, the room's pretty plush. It's it's a nice environment to be in. You got everything. The staff are great. So I would definitely recommend Premier Inn to anybody who wants to um, uh, stay away from home for a few days. So yeah, said enough. Thanks to everyone, you know who you are, and bye for now.